Hello and welcome back to another video. So we're going to jump straight into it. The next section we're going to create in this video is going to be the navigation. But before we do that, we need to group some of these uh, layers. So all of the logo I want to group. So I'm going to click on your tech news, uh, tech by the C copy, the C and the logo. And I'm going to press Control G. And that's now going to group all of those layers into another group. And we're going to double click on group one. I'm going to call this logo. So now I can turn it off altogether. If I wanted to move the whole thing, I can now move it all in one go. So that just makes it a little bit easier uh, to maneuver it around. So I'm going to click on the new group in the bottom right hand corner. And I'm going to call this nav. And inside of the nav uh, group, we're going to create a layer. And this layer name is going to be called BG, so that's the background for the nav. So I'm just going to drag the marquee tool all the way across the page. And the height of this is going to be 48 pixels. So I'm just going to nudge it up a bit to 48 and let go. So I'm just going to fill this with my foreground colour, which is black at the moment. So I'm going to press Alt and Backspace, and that's now filled it with black. Press Control D to deselect, and I'm going to minimise this info palette window. Press V to change back to the move tool and I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to nudge this up with the arrow keys to zoom in a tiny bit more. So I want to nudge this up so there's a one pixel line showing just below the actual gradient and the inner shadow here. And then I'm going to double click on the BG layer and we're going to give it a colour overlay. Now obviously we're not going to have it as red. The actual colour we're going to use is going to be, let me just check this, 3D 3F46 and then enter on that and OK on that. So zoom out slightly. So as you can see we've got the background in place, we just need to add the actual page tabs to it. So I'm just going to go to view and I'm going to show the guides, the ones we created over here. So just above the BG layer in the nav, we're going to create another layer. And then we're just going to zoom in down here. Just so we can see the logo and everything else. Make sure the layer 1 is selected up here. So to create the actual page tab, all we need to do is come down to the shape tool down here. And we want to click and hold and go to the rounded rectangle tool. Uh, we want to set the radius, so the, the sort of the curve of the corner to five pixels. And we want to go back to our fixed size here. So the width is going to be 80, and the height is going to be 36. And I'm just going to click. It's now created me the actual page tab. So I'm going to hold the space bar, and then it will start to drag it around. And I'm going to move it so the corners just go below the grey line and let go. So you may have noticed some of these purple lines showing got that's called smart guides. So if you want to turn those on, go to show and go to smart guides and they just help you uh, align things to certain elements. So now we've got the first page tab in. We need to change that color because obviously that color is not right. So I'm going to double click on this black box over here in the later panel. And we need to give this the color. So the color for this page tab is 4B, 4E56 and click on OK. So if we just zoom out a little, so there's our first one, so we're going to create another one. So to create the next one, I'm going to press the V key to go back to the Move tool, and I'm going to hold Shift, Control and Alt, which is quite hard to do after a while. And then you'll notice that the cursor turns into a black triangle and a white triangle. I'm just going to click and drag, and as you can see it created me a brand new tab. Uh, so I'm going to move that next to it, so I've got a perfect one next to it. Uh, I think I'll do, I think I had five originally, so I'll just drag a couple more out. And then this one will go on the end, like that. So as you can see now we've got five new layers, well we've got five layers in total, sorry, for the page tabs. Now you're probably thinking we've got this bit here that doesn't look right. That's Don't worry about that, we're going to cover that up with the featured section. Um, so I'm just going to zoom out slightly. So the next thing we need to do is we need to add in the text uh, for the page tabs and this first one here in fact we need to change that to white so I'm just going to double click on it and go up to white and click OK so that's starting to resemble the page tab in the design I made so now I'm going to go uh, to the top uh, tab here and I'm going to click uh, a new layer 
and I'm going to go to the text tool pressing T. So I'm just going to click uh, on the first tab like that and I'm going to give this a name of home. So I'm just going to select all that because it's way too big, it's the wrong font and all that stuff. So it's going to be Arial for the font which is here. And I'm going to bring it way down to about 14 pixels. And I'm going to click on the move tool here and then just nudge that into place. So if I now double click on the text layer, it now reselects it. And I'm going to click go just before, just after the E. I'm just going to tab over. And I'm going to type in about. And then just get that lined up in the middle. Tab over to the next one, and I think I called this one news. Just make sure that's in the middle. Tab over again. I believe I called this one forum, possibly. I think it was. If I could spell forum, that is. So forum. And then the final one, which I believe would probably be contact. Like that. So we need to change the colour of these ones in particular because they don't quite look right against that colour background. So the colour for these particular tabs is going to be the following. So it's going to be E9, E9, E9. And then click on OK. And then the home text, obviously we need to change that colour. So I'm going to select all that. Come up here to the colour. And the colour for this one, if I just select all that. It's going to be 3D3, F4, 6, and then click on OK. And just go back to the Move tool in the top left. And we've now pretty much got the navigation in place. So I think actually that text is a bit too big, so I'm going to double click on the layer. And I'm going to bring it down to maybe 13 pixels. And then we just need to do the spacing. So that looks good to me, so I'm going to save that. So we've now got that in place, just so you get the actual effect of what these page tabs are going to look like. What I'll do, if we just collapse down the navigation uh, folder here, and then we'll collapse down the header, and then just below, above that, in fact, we'll create another one, and we'll call this Featured, and we'll create a layer in here. So what we'll do, we'll come over here, and we'll go to the Rectangle tool, and then we'll just change the dimensions for the, for the height to... 300 and then we'll just click and drag all the way over and then let go so here is our featured box we'll just go to the black color here and just change that to white like that and then I'll go back to the move tool with the V key just zoom in a little so now with this featured box selected we're just gonna in fact if I just move over a little bit with the selector, we're just going to nudge it up, and you'll see that they start to disappear, like that. And if I zoom out, you can now see we've got the page tabs in place. So we just covered up the bottom bits with the featured section. Uh, so just one more thing before I go. I'm going to zoom out a little bit more. I'm just going to add in the placeholder for the uh, Google AdSense up here in the top uh, right-hand corner. So to do this, I'm just going to open up the uh, File in the Assets folder. So I actually use this one-on-one -on -one, uh, hosting banner here, so you can use the same or you can use your own. So that's opened up in a new document. So I'm just going to do Control a to select it all and then Control c that's now copied it. And then come back over to our design here. Now I'm going to click on the header background layer and it will jump to that layer. And I'm going to create a layer above it and I'm going to call this AdSense. And I'm just going to do Control v and that's now going to paste that in. And I'm just going to move that up because it pasted it in the middle of the document by holding shift and then moving the arrow keys up. And then using the arrow keys to the right, line that up. In fact, we'll do our little trick we did earlier. So we click on the AdSense and then the BG for the navigation. And we're going to do the align vertical centers. That's now aligned it vertically. And all I'm going to do now is just nudge that over so it's up against the line. And then I'm going to save that. So I'll close down this image we opened in the background. So now we've got the logo in place, we've got the AdSense in place, the uh, page tabs are in place, and we've also got the background for the featured section in place as well. 
So what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave the video here for now. So as usual guys, thanks for watching. Please leave any comments below. Feel free to subscribe. Don't forget to click that link in the top right hand corner for the next video. And I'll catch you later.